Hi, I'm Alicia. And I'm Katie. And we are the co-founders of Padasha and we're really excited to be here with Glam Corner today. Padasha Girl is strong and independent. Aware of trend, but not driven by it. We believe that a woman can look as beautiful as she feels as long as she's got a part of Shard dress on, really. Absolutely. We came up with the name part of Shard just brainstorming. Yeah, really. um, it's a ballet term. It directly relates to Step of the Cat, which we kind of read as taking a leap. Yeah. We did change the spelling for all of those purists out there. I think it was a good thing. Yeah. Other times when people call it Paz Du Chaz, mm. doesn't roll off the tongue so well. No, we get lots of different versions. We both met at our first design job, which was at Coop Street Clothing. And had we not met there, I don't think our paths would ever have crossed. We both were design assistants to another girl at the time, and I don't know, we really hit it off. One day we were kind of presented with the opportunity to have our own brand, yep. and the rest is history, really, yeah. hey? It's yeah. started and haven't looked back since. Yeah. It was just Katie and I for a long time. We didn't, <laughs> we didn't pay ourselves for the first two years. That was out of my nan's garage. <laughs> garage, yeah. You know, that's, that's true. Had racks and racks in mum and dad's house. Yep. And, and we used to design at each other's house on the dining yep. room table, just Take whatever. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Having worked for another brand, we did have some established contacts and, and we knew enough mm. to get us started. Yes. Yep. Um, and then as time went on, you learn because if you don't, you know, it's kind of sink or swim. Um, I guess, yeah, we've been swimming. Yeah. We swim. We're yeah. good freestylers. <laughs> yeah. Fashion is so competitive to convince people that you have something original and something kind of new art. and right. something interesting, yeah. you know, a reason to come to a showing and to view the collection, you know, just getting people in the door sometimes, you know, is hard, but then once they're in, they're in. The business has grown quite quickly, but quite organically as well. Yeah. You know, if we are going to do something, we make sure that it is the right thing for the brand with the right team, you know, to get the right mm. result. If I had known that Katie and I were going to be what we are today, I would have trusted us earlier. We didn't go full time on the business when we decided that we would and I fully wear that because I got cold feet and I was like, oh no, I don't think we're ready, it's too soon, I don't think the business can afford it. The best thing we ever did, the best, best thing we ever did was actually go full time on the business. It's hard to know yeah. when to make that Oh, And it's step. scary because once you've done it, you're in yeah. and you're into Can't the death. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think at the end of the day, our vision is the same. The same, it is. You know, we just work to those points, you know, we get to that point. Okay, let's set the next target and the next target. But there's always something. We talk about the next a yeah. lot, actually. Yeah. Sometimes we don't know what it is. No. <laughs> but we know there is a place that we aren't and we want to be We there. want to get there, you know, that's right. So we will figure that out. And when we did get a setback, one of us would be like, oh my God, that's mm. happened. I can't believe that. And the other one would go, nope, nope. come on, we're going to get this done. Yeah, you know, yeah. So far, yeah. we'll, you know, Know, That's charge true. through. That is the beauty of the beauty of two. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Being a working mom is chaotic and um, possibly one of the hardest things you know I've ever done, but also one of the most rewarding. You get up in the morning and it's go go go, you know, until the moment you get to work, and then you go, okay, mum hat off, work hat on. You definitely need to look at who's around you and who you've got to sort of just help you along the way. My family, my husband's family, they're so great and they help out wherever they can and it is such a tough thing to do, but it definitely can be done. Living proof. Yeah. <laughs> My advice for anyone looking to start a fashion brand is absolutely without a question, go and spend time working in somebody else's because there are so many things that you need to know that you do not know exist. And even after you have worked for those people in those businesses, you're still gonna go into your own business and discover this whole other area that is really important that you know nothing about. And the more information and the more experience and skill that you can have in areas other than designing pretty dresses is gonna make you just a better business person. You've got to work hard, you know. Yeah, without it's a question. It's not just a walk in the park, you know. Mm. You're going to start this from the bottom up and you have to be there six, seven days a week yeah. working crazy hours of the, of the day. You know, you need to put in the hard yards. Then you'll just make better decisions and you'll have, you know, a clear view of where you want your business to be. 
The first person we ever employed was a person in sales. I suppose we don't really have any strengths in that area. So I guess another point of advice would be to employ people that can do a job that you really shouldn't attempt <laughs> because they're going to do it better than you and in the long run they're going to cost you less because they're going to make you more mm. and it's so nice to have another person on staff mm. to bounce ideas yes, from. Yeah. Just find that inner passion that you have for that particular business that you want to start and use that and your family to drive you, you know, because that's what's going to get you um, to, to where you want to be. We think that Glam Corner are at the forefront of a totally different way of shopping and just experiencing fashion. You know, fashion is all about innovation and originality and coming up with something really, really new and exciting. And I think that what Glam Corner are doing right now is paving this kind of new path in that online shopping did maybe a decade or so ago. And I think that changed the face of fashion and the way that we shop forever. For us, being on the platform that Glam Corner provides has opened up our brand to so many women and girls that may not otherwise know that we even exist. Mm. And we feel really privileged to be a part of the Glam Corner business and what Glam Corner is building and what Glam Corner stands for. Mm.